Shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How have y'all been? I know I have been gone for a minute. It was not intentional. I know it was just abrupt stop of me posting videos. Girl, it's a lot. Not a lot. It hasn't been a lot going on. It's just I'm just trying to adjust to life. That's pretty much it. But I'll get into where I've been in another video. So I'm just going to cook some dinner and chill with Autumn and then show you guys my nighttime routine. And this video is sponsored by HelloFresh if you guys can't see. Um, the box in the background so thank you so much hellofresh for sponsoring a portion of today's video it's kind of going to be a review because i've never had hellofresh before so yeah one thing that i do like about hellofresh is that it gets delivered to your door you can change your delivery date if you are not home and i really like that hellofresh takes the stress out of cooking i might have to chop up some stuff but everything is portioned out you don't really have to measure anything you don't have to go shopping for anything everything comes in the box for you to cook all you need is some pots and pans and you know some utensils to shut it up but yeah um let's go ahead and get into cooking because like i said um i haven't ate autumn needs to eat because she needs to go to bed um don't think i'm starving my niece um she ate i just didn't eat she had her breakfast she had her lunch she had her snacks now she's waiting on dinner she's in the shower right now so she's doing her little nighttime routine once she gets out of the shower she will um probably come in here and help me don't say nothing about my back fat. Don't say nothing about how big I am. I know, I'm gaining weight. If you don't like bigger people, if my weight offends you, then just click off the video. I don't want any negative comments, okay? I got back rolls, so. So it comes with three dinners. We have the cheesy smothered mushroom chicken. We have the pork poblano tacos. And we have the beef bull. Bulgogi. <laughs> we have the beef bulgogi bowl. I hope y'all can see that. But yeah, these are the three recipes that it comes with. And it comes with the directions, what you will need on the back of it, which is really cool. The measurements, everything. Wow. Oh, this taco comes with kiwi. Ooh. Oh, these are the blocks of ice that I was talking about. What you saying, Lana? Like? No, yeah. I'll wear, I'll wear, something. I'll wear a dress? What? What are you talking about? I said put your naughty on. What you doing? Okay, so what you want to cook? Um, we have the cheesy smothered mushroom chicken, pork and poblano tacos. We have the beef. This one? Okay. Hold on, but you Hold on. We'll cook that for lunch tomorrow. All right, y'all. So we're going to cook the cheesy smothered mushroom chicken. I'm not going to put the mushrooms on it because I don't do mushrooms. So, yeah, we're going to be cooking this. So what do we need to do? Prep time on this is 10 minutes. Cook for 40 minutes. And it's 640 calories, which is not bad. So, yeah, let's get into it. I'm excited. I'm going to put this these potatoes in here and wash them off. They look really clean though. Potatoes are washed. Carrots are washed. Is the paper the other day? Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna cut up these carrots and scallions, and then after, I'm going to put the carrots on a baking sheet and bake those while the um, potatoes are cooking. And then I'm gonna place the scallions off to the side and put those into the pot with the chicken later on. All 
All right, so pretty much all the prep work is done. All I have to do is finish seasoning up the food, cook the chicken, and mash the potatoes. But the prep work was simple and easy, and my niece loved helping me. Hands down, the carrots were bomb. I just got to tell y'all that right now. Overall, this meal came out really good. And if you guys are interested, go to HelloFresh.com and use my coupon code 10SHANNY for 10 free meals, including shipping. And all information will be down below. Okay, so now the directions are telling me while the potatoes cook, pat chicken dry with paper towel, which I did, and season all over with salt and pepper. Y'all know I'm putting more than salt and pepper on here. And then the next one, it says... Heat a drizzle of oil in a large pan over medium high heat. Add chicken, cook until brown, and cook through for three to five minutes per side. Alright, so after I noticed that the potatoes were pretty much done, I checked on the carrots and the carrots ended up being done as well. So I took those out. It looks like I was rushing in this video because I definitely was. So yeah, that's how the carrots came out and they were bomb, y'all. So I'm just going to go back and finish off the chicken. And I did end up putting the seasoning that came with the Hello Fresh um, meal. I ended up putting that on the chicken as well just to make the chicken more brown and savory and just look nice to the eyes. And then I took some of the scallions and put that on the chicken as well so they can cook in the pot and melt onto the chicken. And I added some more steak seasoning because I like the way it looks on the chicken. So, yeah. Alright, so after the chicken was done, I just plated it to move it off to the side so I can clean up. And then we're going to try it and see how it tastes. I've been picking at the carrots since they've been done. Y'all see me still picking at it? Carrots are bomb. Mashed potatoes is bomb. <laughs> So this is how the cheesy smothered mushroom chicken came out without the mushrooms. And y'all, this came out tasting and looking so good. If you follow me on Instagram, y'all know that I like to cook and make it look cute. So this was right up my alley. <laughs> Autumn is picky. She don't eat a lot of things. So the fact that she's over there eating mashed potatoes and the chicken, it's, it's good. Oh, you're dipping the mashed potatoes in the chicken? That's it. Oh, okay. All right, so it's now four hours later and I've been editing. I got majority of my editing, not majority, but I got a bulk of my editing done. So I'm about to take a break, take a shower, and then go finish my food because I didn't finish my food. I just made sure my niece ate and I ate a little bit with her. Let her watch TV a little bit and then, you know, send her off the bed. So yeah, as you guys can see, my hair is like super oily and stringy right now, but you know what, I don't care. Um, I'll probably wash it soon. I gotta go get some shampoo and then I'll probably wash it. Anyways, that's besides the point. I'm not doing anything extravagant in the shower this time around because I honestly don't feel like standing in the shower. So I'm just gonna take a regular day to shower and um, get out. <laughs> All right, so we're in the shower now and I'm just going to be washing my body with some Dr. Bronner's soap. This is the peppermint one. I really like the peppermint one because I like the cooling minty feeling. Um, and I feel like it just clears my sinuses. So yeah, and after I finish taking a shower, I'm going to exfoliate. And I'm using this body polish from Souvenir, black owned of course. And yeah, I really, y'all, I really love how this smells. It just makes me feel good, okay? So after I'm done with my shower, the first thing I do is take off of my makeup. I did have a little bit of makeup on. I definitely had a lot of mascara on, so I'm oil cleansing first. Um, to get all of this mascara off my lashes normally I use the makeup wipe to get my makeup off and then go into oil cleansing but I didn't feel like doing all of that it was like three o'clock in the morning here so yeah I was just trying to get this makeup off and finish my work and then after I'm done with oil cleansing I'm gonna wash it off it's gonna turn milky a milky color as you guys can see and after I'm done washing this oil cleanser off I'm gonna go into my second step of cleansing which is with an actual face wash and I kind of just get lost in washing my face I sit here and massage my face I show my under eyes some love and I just 
literally sit here and scrub and wash my face i kind of be going ham but my skin is clear and i don't really have a lot of texture so obviously my face loves it and i am going to be doing a skincare routine very soon i know in my last self-care video you guys were asking me for a skincare routine and you guys were complimenting my skin and i really appreciate it because i do try to take care of my skin so just be on the lookout for a skincare routine and in that video i will go more into detail about what i'm doing to my face and all the products that i use Moving on to body care, if you really know me, you know I love to be moisturized. So I'm taking this natural exfoliant from Ren Clean Skincare. It's a smart renewal body serum. And y'all, when I tell y'all this serum makes my body feel silky, I love it. And then I go back on top of it with my regular moisturizer, which is cocoa butter. My niece always tells me I smell like Oreos when I get out of the shower. So yeah, get into it because I be smelling good, okay? All right, now that I'm done with my skincare and body care, I'm just going to give my scalp a little massage because my hair has been in a ponytail all day. And then I'm going to take some castor oil, some Jamaican black castor oil, and I'm going to put it on my edges and my kitchen and lay my edges back down. Well, not lay them back down, but just brush them back down. And I'm just going to put my hair back up into a ponytail with this scrunchie. Very loose, it's not tight at all. I like this scrunchie because it doesn't make any dents in my hair and it also doesn't snag my hair because sometimes when I have my hair in a ponytail and I take it out some scrunchies snag my hair and I really don't appreciate it because I barely have hair now and I'm not wrapping it right now or putting a bonnet on because I am going to be up getting some much needed work done all right so I'm just gonna take a moment and sit down and eat because I haven't had the chance to do that all day I went to the gym earlier and that was just a train wreck it was trash I did not have a good workout because I was getting interrupted and it was just, today was just a day. So I'm just taking a moment to myself and eating my food, which I need to be doing more often because I don't be getting a full meal in all the time because sometimes I just don't be hungry. Sometimes I just be busy and sometimes I be forgetting to eat because I'm not hungry. But yeah, I'm done with my food now <laughs> and I'm gonna go to the kitchen and take my vitamins because I definitely need these because I don't get enough nutrients throughout the day because i'm not eating what i'm supposed to be eating so yeah i'm gonna take my vitamins my gummy vitamins i love these because i have a major sweet tooth at night so i just like taking them at night um not because i have a sweet tooth but because i don't know i just like taking them at night so i'm just gonna take my gummies and then i'm going to follow up by taking some b12 and i already made my instant um, lasso tea which makes you go to the bathroom is a detox tea so it just cleans you out and keeps you regular so I like to you know have that at night so you know in the morning it gets everything out <laughs> I, I don't want to gross you guys out but yeah and it's refreshing so I'm having it after my dinner back over to the couch I'm just going through my phone checking Instagram because sometimes I don't be on Instagram all day and Instagram is a part of my job, so I kind of got to be on Instagram. So yeah, I'm checking that. I'm finishing up some last minute edits, checking my email, playing with my hair because it's really irritating me. This is how I know I need to go to sleep. When I'm fidgeting with every little thing, it's time for me to go to sleep, which I am about to do because I do this a lot. I just fall asleep on the couch. Does anybody else do that? Because sometimes I feel like my bed is too comfortable that I just stay asleep. And the couch is not as comfortable, so I wake up at a decent time. I don't know. That's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. I miss y'all. I love y'all. I'll see y'all soon.